Hello ladies and gentlemen. In this video you will learn how to test the spirits and what I mean by that is that you can identify the true spirits behind the prophets or prophetesses um, that claim to be from God. Those who are giving you a message, whether that message is from God, is actually from the Spirit, from the Holy Spirit, or no, it's from their own uh, fleshly desires or they want to give you something that they think you want to hear. So you test the spirits this way. The first question you need to ask yourself is whether or not the prophet or the person who is claiming to be from God or the message that he's bringing to, or she's bringing to you is from God. Does he or she use any fortune telling? Divination is expressly forbidden in the scriptures by God. No true teacher or prophet of God would use fortune telling tarot cards or have any dealing with the dead spirits. The second question you need to ask is, have the prophet's short-term prophecies been fulfilled? You need to see if those previous or short-term prophecies or predictions that they've done have come to pass. The third question is, is the prophet marked by a desire to say only what pleases people? Now we talked about this extensively in another video where I mentioned about false prophets, false preachers, preachers and teachers who claim to be teaching the gospel whereas they're teaching a gospel of their own. Maybe it's not their own, but it's not the gospel of Christ. Or it might be even the gospel of Christ on the surface but the spirit behind it is wrong or the motive the intention behind it is wrong many prophets many false teachers told people what they wanted to hear but a true prophet serves God not people so they're not trying to please men they're trying to please God no matter what your feelings might be. It might hurt you, it might upset you, the message might not be good to you, but they will say it regardless. There's ample examples in the scriptures. You can find those scriptures at the bottom of this video. You can see the references. And you can find and read them. The fourth question you need to ask yourself is, does the prophet draw people away from God? What I mean by that is many teachers draw people to themselves or their organizations or their church or their temples or their companies or whatever it is. It is not a teaching to draw you or people to actually God. The next question you need to ask is, does the prophet's prophecy confirm the Bible's main teaching? If the prophecy is inconsistent with or contrary to the scripture, then that is a clear indication they're not from God. Sixth question you need to ask is, what is the prophet's moral character? False prophets were charged with lying, drunkenness and immorality in various parts of the Old Testament we can read all about them and the references are there again you can have a look and see for yourselves the last question not the least do other spirit led people discern authenticity in this prophet what do other people who are led by the spirit think of those people and again there's ample examples in the in the Old Testament as well as New Testament in this regard. The first scripture I want to read from the New Testament, 1 John chapter 4 verses 1 and 2 says, Beloved, don't believe every spirit, 
but test the spirits, whether they are of God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit who confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. So you have to know, you have to ask them, or you have to actually see if they confess that Jesus Christ has come. Another scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. It says, the person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness. So if they don't have the Spirit themselves, they, whether they are the preachers, the teachers, or the audience, if you don't have the Spirit, you will be able to discern the Spirit behind the message, the messenger, or the message itself. The person without the Spirit is very clear. The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned by the Spirit only. They're only discerned through the Spirit. So first thing, you have to be a born again, saved Christian, filled with the Holy Spirit. And if you're not, you need to ask God and God is more than happy to give you His Holy Spirit. And then you'll be able to understand His goodwill for you and understand and discern the spirits. Another passage of scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verses 29 to 32. Two or three prophets should speak and the others should weigh carefully what is said. And if a revelation comes to someone who is sitting down, the first speaker should stop for you can all prophesy in turn so that everyone may be instructed and encouraged. The spirits of prophets are subject to the control of prophets. The, I've seen lots of churches, they just prophesy and they pretend or they claim that they're prophesying and speaking in tongues all at the same time. It's a chaos, it's mayhem. That church, those people, they are not from God, because if he was, God is a God of order. God is not a God of disorder. That is why it says that the, spirit, the spirits of the prophets are subject to the control of prophets. Prophets can control their spirits. They can't just, it's not uncontrollable, unmanageable prophecy and speaking in tongues. I hope that clarified a little bit of issues that's going on in the spiritual realm. Like I said, it's a spiritual warfare out there. It's a spiritual minefield and you need to be careful. These are tools for you to be equipped so when you go out, so you can test the spirits by these questions. These are not exhaustive, but they are there to, to, to help you. You still need to have the armor of God, you need to be equipped fully and wear the armor of God, which is another video. But at the moment, you can just be equipped with these tools. They will lead you to the truth. I hope you enjoyed this message and may God richly bless you. Goodbye.